Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Hawaii in Real Life. We are here with the three ladles ladies, and these are two of the three ladles ladies. <laughs> I'm Terry, hi. I'm Laureen, hi. <laughs> and of course, this is the third ladle. Hi. <laughs> okay, so um, we're going to be checking out some of their stuff at Eat the Street this Friday. Um, but these are things that you have. Um, Kind of all the time, right? I mean, this is our staple soup, so I'm making our Kogoku corn salad. Oh, okay. And so, um, are the potatoes local as well? I don't even know this kind of stuff. Okay, well, um, we get our produce from the local farmers, and um, our produce comes from, the main ingredients here comes from um, pit farms, oh. and then our herbs normally comes from Nalo farms for the Kogoku corn salad. Wow, oh, good to know. So, for your corn chowder, um, what do you have in it? You have potatoes? So, the corn chowder's main ingredient is the kuku corn. So, here's some kuku corn right here. Nice. And we get it weekly from Pit Farms. The other ingredients that goes in it is our corn, celery, and onions. And then we have, um, we put some ham in it for our flavoring. Is that from local pigs? Or? Um, this one isn't. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> Just yes, wondering. we do try to use all local ingredients. <laughs> okay, and then um, when you throw all these ingredients into the pot, um, do you have a secret ingredient that makes it so good? Well, um, everyone asks the same question. They want to know why our corn chowder is very yellow, iridescent yellow. And the reason why is because we do have a secret ingredient, which is in this container. And um, we just add some nice herbs to it. <laughs> Our cameraman's like, oh, what's that? <laughs> Does the yellow make it more appetizing? Is that what it is? It gives us a nice flavor along oh. with the herb that goes in it. Okay. Um, and and this, the corn actually is the main ingredient, so it's very sweet. And that really makes the corn chowder. Nice. And so you put it in a bread bowl? Yes, yeah, so um, at KCC on Tuesdays, we put it in this bread bowl and we sell it our corn chowder in the bread bowl. Also, any soups that we offer on our Tuesday markets, it goes in the bread bowl if the customer wants as, a, as an option. Yes. yes. That's a small bread That's like a Hobbit bread bowl. <laughs> <laughs> that's something that you would eat there though, right? I mean, you can't take out with that. We do pack it separately if they want to take it home. Oh, okay. Or they can eat it there. And a lot of customers on Tuesday, they do eat it there, so. Good to know. I think our cameraman's going to come look for his Hobbit bread bowl. Yes. <laughs> Definitely can happen. Okay, so let's check out this. While you work on that, let's check okay. out what, what you're doing here. What are you putting up? I am using local grass-fed beef from Kualoa. And I was visiting my friend Valerie King up in Kualoa and they sell the beef uh, different cuts, so I bought the chuck. And I like to use the local beef because it's nice and lean. And I cut the, the beef into little morsels for my beef barley. So this is the finished product. This is pre and post. Oh, okay. Right is that one of your best sellers, beef barley? Beef barley is popular, yes. It's oh. a very hearty, very um, comforting kind yeah. of food. <laughs> and you use these carrots for that also? Or? Yes, this is my favorite carrots. It's a tricolor carrots from Pit Farms. And so this is what it looks like just before it goes in the soup. Nice. So and it's a nice rainbow. But they taste like carrots. Yes. Oh, okay. It's very nice and sweet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just wonder if they taste different for, like, if, you know, like how brown eggs come from brown chickens, which we learn in a previous episode. <laughs> um, it's like Actually, it's more earthy, I think, because oh, yeah. it's from the farm, you know? Straight from the farm and not from the market, so it has a little, uh, I, I think it's a little more earthy in taste. Ah, nice to know it's <laughs> earthy and fresh. Yeah, so these are all the ingredients I have um, on display for the video yeah. uh, that goes into the beef barley, so it's celery, carrots, onions, and then the barley, of course. Oh, okay. So it was one of my favorite soups when I was a little girl, and you know, when I would get sick, my mom would make beef barley a la Campbell soup, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it was my favorite soup, so I decided okay. that it would be one of the staples for Renato's. And I see that you have beets here, and what yes. is that for? Well, I wanted to also show uh, 
your fans are, are, are vegetarian variety. This is the borscht. It's, I call it island style borscht because it's a Russian recipe, but it has pineapple in it. Because I wanted to make it 100% local, so it's part of the common movement. And um, I couldn't find vinegar, so I used pineapple wine from Maui. Oh. And I put a little pineapple to make it sweet. And it's a recipe that my friend's grandmother from Germany her grandmother's recipe that I've kind of embellished. Nice. Yeah. Didn't you used to make it with watermelon? No, that's Janelle's gazpacho. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I knew there was watermelon in there somewhere. Yeah, this is the pineapple nice. variety. Nice. <laughs> and it's, is it served cold or hot? Well, you know, it's usually served hot in Russia, uh, but in Hawaii, people like it cold because it's so hot here. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but on a, a cold, rainy day in Hawaii, if you heat it up and put a dollop of sour cream, it's quite, oh no. Mmm, okay. Oh, make sure we try that. Plus, I, I know that beets are full of vitamin C. Travel monkey, you should be, you should be eating beets because they're full of vitamin C. <laughs> um, okay, and are these going to be served at Eat the Street also, or...? Yes, we, I sometimes bring the, um, the vegetarian soups because we do have... Just for the option. Yeah, an option for the vegetarians. Okay, yeah. good. But we're, this, as you know, Eat the Street's kind of focused on the pig, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's the month of the pig. <laughs> Yeah, it should, it should be pretty crowded. Usually, um, the, the street, like last year when we had it, it was, okay. it was packed. Well, we're gonna, we have four different flavor soups, so <laughs> we're ready. <laughs> now, how did, how did you guys get started? Like, the three of you, how do you know each other? Well, we met at work, and we love to eat, and we love soups. So, we just started to share our soups, and we started to make our own um, creations, and everyone would compliment yeah. us and it encouraged us. So oh, we really enjoyed it. That's and I different. think that's how we started. It's just the joy of, of making soup and seeing each other's expression of how <laughs> wonderful it was. And the three of us, we had so many different creativity in how we made our suits. You know, everyone has a little different back, background. So our um, taste buds are different and oh. our likes are different and just really wonderful trying nice. everyone's soups. So you can get something for everybody when you yeah, come to the community. Yeah, that's what it turned out to be. We have something for everyone. Mm -hmm. Cool. Now, and this uh, kitchen here is called the Weinberg... Where, it's called the, the Pacific Gateway. Gateway Culinary Incubator. Oh, okay. And this is, you were telling me, this is where all the other booths... Yes, um, for those of you who frequent the farmer's market, some of the favorite cookie people are, are baking here, like Andy Edith, and we have the, the Lua, the Lao Lao, mm -hmm. Lao Lao folks like Stacy's and Grandma G's. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we, they're, they're a big ohana from the uh, farmer's market. Oh, cool. So, so anybody who has a, a booth, per se, like the trucks, do any trucks cook here? Yeah, some yeah. of the... Um, uh, truck wagons compared to it's a lot of small businesses that don't have their own certified kitchen mm. they start off here and then as they grow if they can afford a certified kitchen then they open up their own but this is a good um, start point for um, startup businesses like us oh. and it's been working really wonderful so and can you store stuff here yes we have storage here oh, okay so like only to go if you wanted to restart your truck again Oh, no. Huh? Yeah, a truck. Yeah, and wow. they lost their kitchen, so. Yeah. You're looking for uh, some help. You're looking for some help? Yes. Well, Russell, anytime you're interested. <laughs> he, he would love to handle some vegetables. <laughs> anyway, okay, so check these ladies out. Check the ladles out at the farmer's markets. They're at KCC and at Blaisdell, and they're also at the street, and it's coming up this Friday. And follow them on Twitter, three ladles. See you there. Thank you. Bye.